Hi, I'm outside Lemon Lounge and I'm joined by Sophie and Linnea from All Hands On Deck, a Manchester-based crew that have been doing bits for how many years now? Um, since 2018. So I'd, how many years is that? Six? Fifth birthday. Yeah, fifth birthday, birthday just birthday happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, because I remember your nights from when I lived in Manchester around that time. And you started off in Partizan Collective and you've always kind of been grassroots always been about the community. Can you tell us a little bit about the mission of what All Hands On Deck is? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, so yes, we started in 2018 and I suppose it was very organic the way it started. It was really just born out of a few people like starting to get interested in DJing, not just like at home. And we were all women and non-binary people and we were also involved in Partisan Collective, which was doing a lot of grassroots stuff at the time and had space for us to kind of put on our own night. Um, so the first one was just, yeah, very experimental. We, we realized that we wanted a space that was just for women and non-binary and trans people to DJ and in like a low pressure environment. So not being like super skilled, but learning on the go kind of thing, which was very much the ethos of like the venue that was hosting us. And it was really just to give a space for people to do that uh, in a low pressure environment and have fun and, and learn together, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, bit, it's, a, it's a beautiful project. Like I remember the vibes as well being just very pure. And, and then you were actually opening it up as well to kind of more people as, as time kind of went on. Um, you've been involved since the beginning and you're kind of more recently been involved. Is that right? Yeah, no, yeah, very much more recently involved. but. Um, I'd seen kind of what All Hands on Deck were doing for a while in Manchester and actually it was at We Out Here um, a few years ago, I think it was just after Covid, that I saw that they were doing um, an open deck and so I was like, oh yes, finally I can go, go to one of them, I mean shame it's not in Manchester. And then yeah, since then, kind of going back to back to Manchester, doing a few more bits of Partizan, um, just got more involved because obviously, yeah, everything that they stand for, the ethos, the way that they go about things, obviously like themselves, like the three of them, absolute powerhouse. And yeah, just seeing what they've done in Manchester. And actually, like the amount of people that have come through some of the like open decks things or even like through the mix series and stuff, they've gone on to do like amazing, amazing things. And it's like, it's just really beautiful to see this community of people being spawned from all the work that's been put in over the years. Because that space was clearly like needed and stuff. So yeah. Lovely, lovely little crew. <laughs> <laughs> and are we out here, you've been here for quite a few years and you have the open decks format and that's such, so beautiful because you're allowing people to play at a festival, play to an audience on a great sound system and that's happening right now. That must make you feel really proud, right? But it's, it's a very unique format, I think, that got your foot in the door a little bit in terms of having that format and owning it, but also the, the feeling you get from that is providing opportunities. So what's the affiliation with, with We Out Here and festivals and, and the open decks? Um, yes, so I think the first time we did anything at We Out Here Festival was, like Linnea said, maybe that second year after Covid actually. And the Lemon Lounge asked us to play and I think they, they'd seen that we were doing open deck parties in Manchester and suggested that it would be nice to host an open decks um, at the festival that was for women and trans and non-binary people at a festival because I think open decks had been happening at festivals before but it was open to everyone I think it was about they'd seen maybe what we'd been created in Manchester and thought that should also translate to a festival and like create that space for that support uh, in another in another format so yeah and then they've just kept inviting us back because to be honest I feel like every time we've done it it's just been like a real success because it's really fun when everybody brings their friends to an open deck situation anyway but at a festival everyone's really excited they want to support their friends and like they've really like popped off to be honest <laughs> every time uh, and it's just a joy to do it at the lemon lounge because the sound system is so good and the crew that run it are so fun i think it's great I mean, you, you're so busy you've been playing yesterday open decks today open decks tomorrow and you're full, everyone's secured their spots, so no one else can DJ to this festival. But for next year, if anyone wants to come, that they can. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with me. It's been taking time out of your set as well that you're doing at the moment. But love the collective, always have, and I hope it continues to be a great success. Thanks, Shree. Really appreciate Thank it. Nice one. <laughs>